Time now for Night Courts. PetSmart is under fire tonight for an employee pet grooming training program they say is free. But one former worker argues it's anything but. The company advertises a paid grooming academy valued at up to $6,000, but a new lawsuit claims the company puts workers on the hook for roughly $5,000 if they leave before two years of work. According to PetSmart, similar training elsewhere could cost as much as ten grand. Are they running afoul of labor laws? Well, let's pose that legal question to our legal eagles tonight. Criminal defense attorney Bob Bianchi and from the National Center for Life and Liberty, attorney David Gibbs. Welcome back to you both gentlemen. Uh, I will start us off with Exhibit A. And this comes from the complaint of the employee. It says PetSmart requires that all employees who enroll in Grooming Academy sign a training repayment agreement provision. They abbreviate that TRAP. The TRAP requires PetSmart groomers to take on $5,000 of debt to PetSmart in exchange for Grooming Academy training. PetSmart forgives that debt only if the worker stays at the job for two years after they begin training, no matter how little they are paid or how pa poorly they are treated. Bob, the employee in question here, or at least former employee, I think, and now, says she had no idea she was signing on essentially for a debt program that required her to stay for two years regardless of anything else that happened. What say you? Once again, we have somebody who says that they don't understand when they're signing an agreement that was given to them by their supervisor, and that is not an excuse. When you sign a contract, you're presumed to have read it and understand its terms. And its terms are very clear, Shannon. The company puts in over 800 hours of training for these individuals. It includes classroom training, grooming training, and as they're moving up in the training regimen, they're getting more and more in commissions. So the employer has a right, in my mind, like many employers do, to say, if we're going to make that contract, of investment with you and that you're going to be able to take these skills and be able to transpose them to other places we're going to ask for a two-year commitment from you in order to repay us because this is a big problem that businesses have when people get trained extensively and then they just leave and move to another company so there's nothing unusual about what was done here and uh, this lawsuit in my opinion is just somebody who wants to say i didn't read the agreement and i don't want to honor the fact that i received all this great training that i can transpose now to another uh, business if i wish to so i think Think the agreement is sound well i love seeing all the cute doggies i can't stop watching the videos of them getting groomed they're adorable um but distracting because let's take you to exhibit b this is the pet smart statement they say they don't pen they're not commenting on pending litigation but they are committed to this employees professional development they say other training programs in the industry can cost more than ten thousand dollars we are proud that pet smarts on the job training program offers a rewarding career path without the out-of-pocket costs associated with other training programs david they say this is actually a deal for their employees shannon it's a joke some bean counter at PetSmart said is there a way we can take training of new employees and shift that burden over onto them this is a fraudulent university, grooming university. I mean, we, we ought to have shelf stocking university or maybe cashier university, and we can pass all our training costs illegally, by the way, in violation of labor laws, over onto these employees. I love that trap is the provision. It is a trap. Nobody reads this I, well, stuff that they put in front of these minimum wage young people, and there's no equal bargaining whatsoever. Okay, so Exhibit C, this is Rachel Dempsey of Tor Justice. She's one of the attorneys for the plaintiff in this case. She's quoted uh, today saying this, no matter how you characterize the training, PetSmart is doing something illegal. You cannot make employees pay for their own training or pay to work for you. Bob? Yeah, well, I don't agree with that. I mean, I think that companies do this all the time. And you have to understand there's an opportunity cost that's lost by the business that's an investing in a program that costs thousands of dollars in, uh, elsewhere where they're putting 800 hours of training in there. And that's the deal that these people signed up for. And if you didn't want to do it, this, see, this is the problem with government uh, and, and laws like this. If you don't want to do it, then don't sign the agreement. Then go work somewhere else. But it's completely reasonable that if I'm going to invest all this time and energy in you, look at the the plaintiff in this case that she's talking about. She started in February, got all of, of 2021, got all of this great training, got a great value out of it. And in September, just months later, now she wants to leave and she wants to be relieved of her responsibility to pay the money back pursuant to the provision. If you don't want to pay the money back, stay on the job for the required two years. You certainly have the freedom of choice to do that. If you want to leave, then you're going to have to pay. All right. Quick final word to you, David. Well, if it was real education from a real school that provided real value, it would be a lawful contract. But because it's just the training to do the job that they want to pay you minimum wage to do, 
it is unlawful and it should be stopped. And PetSmart is shifting burden onto its employees illegally. We'll follow the case. Bob and David, thank you both for weighing in. Good to see you. Thanks, Adam. Be well. Hey, great to hear from you, Shannon. Yeah. Thank you, Bob. Bye.